Hi, um, this is just a quick tutorial on how to get set up for de Ubuntu development. Um, it won't be all in this tutorial, this will be just cut up into sections, say four or five, just to make it a lot easier to record and it will be a little bit more succinct for each tutorial rather than having to um, do it all in one go. Okay, so this is just getting set up for de Ubuntu development, so when you install Ubuntu for the first time or um, when you reinstall, the base system or when you install from the desktop CD doesn't have all the extra tools available to um, create pa like do packaging for Ubuntu or Debian even. So what we need to do is we need to set up an environment um, and identify ourselves a launch pad um, to be able to contribute. Um, so what we need to do is we need to install a couple of packages straight off the bat. So you can do this through Software Center, but um, I just find it easier just to go through um, the command line. So in 11.10, it's just a simple meta package of packaging dev. Um, on 11.04, 10.10 and 10.04, um, this is also backported. So um, if you enable the backports repository, you'll be able to get this packaging dev, which is just a lot easier. Otherwise, you have to manually type out or select all these other packages that are just all taken up by this one. Um, another one that I like to install straight off the bat is called dhmake. Um, and basically, it's just a set of scripts that... Um, and one of, the, one of the main ones, I guess, is that if you find a a source code package on the internet and you want to Debianize it or it's not in, it's not in Ubuntu, it's not in Debian. Um, it makes it really easy to um, set up all the meta files and the meta folders for um, the Debian package itself. Um, it means you don't have to write them all out and um, or use other tools so it takes you through a process like what what's this package licensed under, what's the copyright, what's um what are the dependencies, all that kind of stuff. So I, I like to um, install DHMake as well. Um, this will already be in installed, but um, it, it's usually about 100 or 150, maybe 200 megabytes to download because um, it is quite a hefty amount of packages, but at the same time, um, that's just what we have to do to get set up. Um, yeah, so hopefully in part two, we'll have a look at um, setting up a GPG and SSH key.